Hello and welcome everybody. This is Spiritual Findings and today we're going to do a tarot deck and oracle card review. I have a lot of decks here that I use for personal use and professionally and I'll be telling you which ones that you can use for beginners use, which ones do best in what type of corrals, which ones are more durable and I'll also just be showing you the illustrations just so you can kind of get a feel on which deck that you might like to purchase. Any of these decks here you can find on Amazon. Sometimes I do tend to gear towards certain decks more than others and lately I've been asked by a lot of people who are beginning to read tarot. They ask me what decks do I use? I will have recommendations for some of you who are just beginning to read tarot or some of you guys who might be a little bit afraid of the original Rider Waite deck. What decks that you can use, what to start off with, um, which decks to use with what crowds, um, which ones are more flimsy, which ones are more durable, and just the numerology messages. You can find tarot decks and oracle cards in bookstores and your local holistic store. So these decks are part of my personal collection and I love each and every one of them. You grow to be very close to your tarot cards. You might purchase some along the way that just don't click with you right away or perhaps maybe you bought them initially for yourself and maybe along the way they'll end up as a gift for somebody else that might click more with the illustrations and the symbols within the deck. I do not buy secondhand tarot cards. I have bought all of my tarot cards brand new. Um, I recommend that you do the same unless you have a really good connection with the deck. Now this could be a deck that's passed down from your mother, a friend, somebody that wouldn't wish you any ill attentions. Um, I wouldn't recommend getting them from a thrift store or a yard sale or on Craigslist. Like I said, unless you have a very strong connection with them. I do recommend once you get your tarot cards to bless them. You can bless them with white sage. You can bless them with any type of smudging tool. Um, just be careful that you don't light the deck on fire. <laughs> you can also bless them yourself. You can also bless them yourselves by just placing your hands over the deck and just bringing good intentions into it. You can also place crystals on top of your deck to cleanse them. I do this a lot in between my readings just to make sure that somebody's intentions doesn't roll upon the next reading that I'll have. You can do so with crystal quartz, citrine. I use a lot of carnelian on my cards. It's beautiful, just a round little gemstone. Now there are many different rules and ways to go about reading tarot, but I kind of just went with how I felt, how my gut felt. I do hear that you should never purchase a tarot card, that it should be given to you as a gift. I also hear that you should wrap up your tarot deck in a black cloth or have them in some type of bag. I do the crystal method and the reason behind this is they don't want any bad entities or anything to attach to your deck when you're not using it and you're not aware of it so I would just simply put some type of protection spell put some type of stone or crystal on top or yes you can go with the black cloth or bag method Tarot and oracle cards should be treated with respect, but however, the power does lie within you. There's nothing evil about tarot or oracle cards. Now, if you put that intention there, yes, there could be dark spirits or entities that lie within them. However, if you take tarot card reading seriously, it could all be done with light and love. The first deck that I'm going to show you is the Rider Waite deck. Now, this is the deck that you see all in the movies. This deck has been around for hundreds and hundreds of years and is illustrated by Pamela Coleman Smith. The deck and the art were sold through a couple different people and that's where it originally gets its name now, the Rider Waite deck. I could probably tell you a little bit more history on that, but you could just go ahead and Google it. It's a little bit of a... Yes, Kitty, it's a little bit more... T <laughs> it's a lot to say. So Kit Kitty, what? What? The Rider Waite deck is made up of Major Arcana and Minor Arcana. 
the minor arcana is based upon any card deck that you would play with, the 52 setup. It has hearts, clubs, spades, and diamonds, except it's turned into wands, swords, pentacles, and cups. It takes a little bit to get used to, but don't be discouraged. Soon enough, you'll be doing readings on yourself and your friends with confidence. Most decks come with a guidebook to help you understand what the author and the illustrator mean behind their symbols. However, when you do a tarot reading, it is good to go with what your gut and how you feel the card should be interpreted. There are some cards that may be more scary in this deck than others. However, these cards have a wide variety of meaning. Could they mean death? Yes. But it also could mean a backstabbing that a friend might have done in your life. I do recommend using a guidebook, but it is more important to go with your gut when you're doing a reading. How do you think this card plays into their life? It is great to have an understanding what the author and the illustrator meant behind the deck, but also put in your experience and how you feel and your intuition when doing a reading. Certain cards represent different zodiac signs, so if you have one of these cards pop up in for a love reading, you know whoever you're reading for might have this particular zodiac sign pop up in the future. See what the cards are about. Pentacles usually represent business. Cups usually represent emotion and love. Swords represent communication and authority. And wands represent growth, inspiration. Each suit also has a different meaning. Swords represent air. Cups represent water. Pentacles represent earth. And wands represent fire. Now with getting a feel with these cards, a lot of people are intimidated because just the illustrations, some of them can just be quite terrifying. For example, when this card pops up in people's readings, they get a little nervous, they get a little scared. As you can see, it's two people literally falling out of a high tower. The tower's on fire, the tower's being struck by lightning, and these people are literally falling off of a mountain. It's not really an ideal situation. And when you get this in your reading, you might be terrified, but really this can just mean an overthrow in authority, okay? A change in government, a change overall, okay? It also could mean an eviction, a divorce, so it depends on who you're reading for and what the question is. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe, guys. Also hit that notification bell. I do a lot of live streams and you can get yourself a free reading possibly in the future. Next up, we have Magical Messages from the Fairies. This card deck is amazing. I use this all of the time. It's an oracle card deck and it comes with great messages and also it has a lovely title that really gives you a feel of what you're looking for when this message pops up. There's a strong earth healing element behind this deck. The illustrations are so beautiful, as well as the messages are quite touching. If you love fairies, you'll love this deck. I think second to using the original tarot and the magical messages from the fairies, the other deck that I use a lot when it comes to my professional and my own personal readings is the angels deck. This is a tarot deck. The angels decks I use a lot when it comes to people who might be a little bit more religious and skeptical when it comes to tarot readings. Getting your archangel is very intriguing as well as not intimidating when it comes from people with strong religious backgrounds, perhaps who are Catholic or branches along that line. This deck has a lovely silver trim. The messages from the fairies had that lovely gold trim. So you could tell Doreen definitely likes to put on a show when it comes to her cards. It is based off of the original tarot with the minor and major arcana. You can use different decks with one reading, guys. Don't be timid to do that, okay? Use your intuition. This deck is beautiful, the illustrations are amazing, but the messages really hit home when it comes to these cards. Alright, next up I want to review the two different 
animal spirit decks that I have. Now this one here is the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit and I love this. The images are quite subtle with color but they are beautiful and they speak out. It also comes with a lovely guidebook that I highly recommend that you have everybody read on their own because it will kind of click in with their own personal experiences and their own personal struggles and reading the guidebook will help them understand what that animal might bring into their life. I read for a young gentleman and he got a mouse as his animal spirit and he kind of wanted something more cool. He wanted a lion or a bear, something more aggressive than just a mouse. But when he read from the guidebook, he kind of was just like, yeah, that does click in with my life. So understand that people can have animal spirits for a year, for a month, for just a certain project regarding a relationship. I find these cards to be good party icebreakers. Pull these out. They're definitely less intimidating than getting a Rider weight deck reading. People are very interested in with them and I've never had a reading where somebody was like, yeah, that doesn't click in with them. These cards do represent water, earth, wind, and fire, and they also have cards that represent the spirit too as well. The other animal spirit deck that I have is Messages from Your Animal Spirit Guides. Now this deck is by Stephen D. Farmer. This is a great deck. It's very durable as well as it has lovely messages on the bottom. This is great for beginner readers. If you're very interested in animal spirits, this is a great way to just get that message. As soon as you pull a card, you can see that they have great messages right at the bottom that fit in with your animal spirit. The deck is very beautifully done. There's very vibrant colors. You can see that the illustrations is a little bit more cartoony, but it definitely does give the vibe that you're looking for. You can pick up a lot of messages on these cards as well as the message that it comes with. It's great for beginners. One thing that I do like about this deck is it has a lot of different animals that you usually don't see in animal spirit decks. This next deck has two die for illustrations, you guys. If you like classical pent up or Victorian style work, you will love this. I love this deck, hands down, it's one of my favorite illustrations out of all of my tarot decks, and it is the Vintage Wisdom Oracle. If you love that pin up style, that Victorian Gothic theme behind your artwork, this is the deck for you. This is a beautiful deck, guys, and you can dive so deep within the imagery, the symbols. They have a lot of spirit animals that pop, in, uh, pop up within this deck. You can really get a lot of messages from just this Oracle deck alone. This deck does come with a great guidebook for you to refer to. The imagery is beautiful and it does come with a lot of diff different symbols, feels, attitudes, body posture, artwork, fairy tale. It One problem that I do have with this deck is that the cards are quite large. Now, however, to fit this gorgeous illustration, you would need a larger card, but I am one to shuffle like this to Pro prolong the lifespan of my cards and my hands are very quite large. <laughs> so it is a little bit of a hassle for me to get a grip on these cards, but I can make it work. And you also can just find a different way to shuffle with these cards too. Next up on our card review is the Native Spirit Deck. These are Oracle cards by Denise Lin. This is by far one of the emotional decks I have ever had. I personally picked this one up at a Holistic Expo and just fell in love with it immediately. I didn't see any of the imagery, the deck was sealed so I couldn't see what it was and back then I didn't have a smartphone to just look up to see what the cards looked like. But I had a really good instinct to go ahead and pick them up. I didn't want to use this deck for professional readings until I got a personal vibe for it. So I decided 
did the one summer to just spend the summer with the deck, learning the deck, and what I did is every day I pulled a different card for myself, would read it from the guidebook, what it meant, and most of the time it clicked so well with what was going on in my life and it made me cry a lot of the time and it was such a healing deck I am so glad that I picked it up for myself personally for my growth my spiritual enlightenment so every day I would pull a card and once I pulled that card I would put it aside and the deck would just get smaller and smaller and smaller until I got by the last card sure enough every single card pretty much had made me either tear up or give me the chills it really clicked in even though I was going through the whole entire deck throughout the summer it just so happened to really click in with what was going on. Shout out to all my sisters and brothers. Next up we have the Green Witch Tarot. It's a great way to interpret the original tarot. Each imagery is just deep within Wiccan and Pagan roots. The Green Witch Tarot incorporates Pagan gods and goddesses throughout the deck. There is also a strong presentation of Wiccan and Pagan holidays. One complaint that I do have about this deck are that the cards are really flimsy. Now, unfortunately, the illustrations are so beautiful that it can make up for that, but you want to be really careful when you shuffle this deck. All right, last but not least, we have Karma Cards. Now, this is a great way for me to just get some quick insight. If I have any questions on a project that I'm doing or if I just need a pick-me-up, this deck is something that I go to when I don't really feel like using my brain and trying to get a lot of insight because the deck just says it like it is. Now, this deck is unique because of the setup. Now, you set it up into three different piles, okay? You have the planets here, you have the signs, and you have the houses. Now, you shuffle up each one individually, and what you do is you lay them back down in these piles just like this. And once you're ready to flip, you flip over which card draws to you. Now, if one flops out while you're shuffling, obviously that card is the card that you need to read from. And you want to make sure that the messages line up and they do that by color coordination. You have the red messages here and the blue messages here. And what you do is you don't read this way with these cards, you actually read this way. Now this one popped up as Venus, Scorpio, and the ninth house. So the collaboration of these cards together will give you messages. Now they also have the messages for the spirit, mind and your physical body all right guys this pretty much sums it up for today i hope you learned a little bit more about which decks you gear towards learned a little bit more how to go about buying them taking care of them as well as a little bit more about how to go about reading them i will be making a part two to this to help you guys understand each card give a thumbs up or a comment I will be making more videos on how to read tarot to get a little bit more in depth with that. This video was to make sure that you guys feel confident in your next tarot card purchase. I hope you guys give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I spent my whole Sunday here filming this. This was a lot of work, but I really did want to get out to my clients as well as my subscribers on what I thought on which tarot card would be best for beginners and just to give a little bit of overview on what each deck looks like, what they represent, as well as how to take care of them and where to find these bad boys. If you have any more questions or comments about this video or the decks within this video, please comment below or leave me a message on our Facebook. You can follow us on our Facebook at Spiritual Findings Tarot with a Gypsy Soul. More videos to come on tarot cards. Enjoy your enlightenment.